Who the hell are you? I'm a friend of Charlie Pickles. I came over to say hi. You hungry, man? Hey, Ma, where's the meatloaf? Dude, I think I'm okay. I had a bite before I came over. You sure, man? You know what, dude? I will have some meatloaf. I knew you'd come around, man. Hey, Ma, the meatloaf! Ma, where's the meatloaf? You never know what she's doing, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that little introduction there. I kind of played it as if the dude from the Big Lebowski were playing the part of Vince Vaughn. You know, just kind of chilled out. So anyhow, this is a collaboration with several other folks. I'm gonna leave their channels down below. Please remember to check them out. But before we start, if you like this, please remember to like and comment, subscribe, ring that bell. So I'm reaching back to when I first started grilling and I, I consider myself an experimental griller. I like to take weird combinations and put them together, make things on the grill that, you know, like uh, pancakes or eggs, things like that that you normally wouldn't do on a grill. I really enjoyed that. So I've never made meatloaf, but I thought I'd give this a shot. We're making pineapple meatloaf. The first thing I got is I got a pound of hamburger. I'm just gonna kinda take care of business with it. Looking good so far. I've got two cloves of garlic that I'm throwing in. I've got a cup of green peppers. I've got a cup of onions. I've got a cup of Hawaiian rolls. Figured why not with pineapple. And mix them all together. I can already tell this is going to be crazy cool. Those of you worried about, oh dude, you're using your hands? Yep, I'm the only one eating this. Everybody else is gone in my house. Then I have 20 ounces of pineapple. I'm only going to use about half of it. Throw that in there. all together you know what for this I'm actually gonna go for two pounds I'm seeing already I'm gonna need two pounds for this there's the ticket right there we're gonna have some meatloaf, holy moly. <laughs> There's plenty of meatloaf in this bad boy. All right, everything is mixed up. We already have garlic in there, but I have a salt and pepper garlic mix that I've pre-made. Mix it all up in there. Ooh, nice and gooey. And now that this is all mixed up at this point, we're going to put in two eggs. I figure an egg per pound of meat, right? Mix it up again. <laughs> nice and gooey and cold too. All right, I think we're all mixed up. We put it into our pan here that I bought the other day. I've never made meatloaf before, but I figure give it a shot. Pans were kind of expensive at the store, so I bought these aluminum ones. All right, so at this point, we're gonna put it into the Pit Boss that's at 350 right now. We're gonna heat the meatloaf to 160, and then we're gonna make a glaze that goes over the top. So I'm gonna throw this down into the Pit Boss, and we'll see you at 160. So it's been an hour and a half, and our meatloaf just hit 160. I just turned off the Pit Boss, 
So we're gonna let it rest for just a moment inside there. But it's time to make the glaze for the meatloaf. So earlier, we had a 20 ounces of pineapple and I strained it so I've got not quite a cup of juice in here. We'll just pour that in there like that. And I have two tablespoons cornstarch. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm only gonna put maybe like uh, one tablespoon in. I'm gonna reserve the rest just in case we have to thicken up our glaze. I don't want any clumps in here. I'm gonna add just a wee bit more. But you know this is gonna thicken up anyways. I have one tablespoon of yellow mustard. quarter a cup of ketchup. Now I'm out of ketchup, so I'm gonna use sriracha ketchup. But you know me, I like that anyways. And I have a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce. Mix these all up together. You're adding some heat to the Cuisinart. Let this thing thicken up a little bit. It's gonna take just a moment. We wanna put this on like a medium to high, medium high heat somewhere in there. And while we do that, I do wanna check out the meatloaf. Meatloaf looks really good. If you can smell this, oh man. I'm gonna throw a little bit of pineapple in here. Gonna give it a little extra consistency, a little extra flavor. smell the sweetness of it though. Wow. You know me, if you're not making a mess, you ain't cooking. Wow. It smells so good. I'll try just a bite of it. Add a little bit more cornstarch to it. Give this another taste because so far so good. That's really good. All right, we're gonna wait for our glaze to heat up and put it over the top. We'll be right back. We're back. During the break, I did end up finishing off that piece of meatloaf, so I'm gonna just cut another one. This stuff is actually really good. That is a nice big old chunk right there. Thought about just licking it off my fingers, it was so good. I'm gonna take the glaze that we made, just put it right over the top. It's kind of like a pineapple gravy, maybe. I don't know. Let's try this out though. Mmm. That's probably the best damn meatloaf I've ever had. That glaze or that gravy, whatever you want to call it, both we'll start with a G, complements it so well. It doesn't overpower it. The meatloaf, it's, it adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. Try another bite. Dang, this is good. Mm. Definitely know what I'm having for dinner. All right, guys, the recipe's down below on how I made this. We said this is a collaboration with other channels. I'll put their link down below. Ma. Where's the meatloaf is the hashtag. So check out those other guys. Show them a little love. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please remember to like, 
comment, subscribe, ring that bell, share, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it, guys. You're watching The Dude's Kitchen, and remember, the dude abides, this time, with meatloaf infused with pineapple. You gotta try it, guys. I'm going back to eating.